So this is part uh, six, I think. Uh, here is the premiums again, and uh, I forgot a slot last time. The color changers of this guy from Cars by Dean McQueen. And Tunnel Makers. Everybody liked that character too. So these are the color changers. I don't really know <clears throat> much about them other than I just got the characters that I know everybody likes as soon as they cracked the case. I wanted to get them. I didn't get paid till the end of the week, but nobody bought them all week. I couldn't believe it. And I had my choice of all the key cars from the Cars movie. And those are the two that I chose to grab. And then this is a holiday box. This is the stand that it sits on. And instead of the matte blue finish, typical with the Hot Wheels, it has this nice soft blue and it has a Hot Wheels logo up the side. It's very, very nice. And it looks like I put a back in here. Um, I wonder if it has a back back, like I was wanting to show everybody. That's the Hot Wheels first year premium. I got two of them. I covered it in one of the other videos. And then these are all the Auto World and all the M2s that are numbered that I picked up. And there's quite a few. Those were not cheap either. Those were anywhere from uh, $8.97, $7.97 to $8.97, something like that. And they're really high end. They're super nice. And I really like the M2 ones uh, that are all kind of uh, numbered and they have like these mock ups of the ads. And then you, know, you got to stand for it. And just the attention to detail is really something on these. I really, really, really uh, like those. All right. So I'm going to have to tip this. So it's going to take both hands for a second. So hands free. Vintage style. <laughs> there you go. Let me do that first because I want to see is there a bag. And if there's not, there's two. Okay, there isn't. So I'm going to tip this. So go this way with it. We just got a man here. This one does have the prices written on it, unfortunately. There's anything I could do about it. I salvaged it before they pitched it, at least. And uh, there's the run of different cars that are here. Um, and let's just take a look. Um, sit you down again. Ooh, so I can sit me down. Oh, there comes Bellaboo. She's got to come see what's up. Make sure Daddy's okay. I love her. Yes. Oh, I love her. She's a very good girl, Bill. Okay, hop down. Thank you. So here's a Superman. And this one says uh, Xmas Delivery 2020. And there he is. And this is the Rockin' Santa sled. Rockin' around the Christmas tree. It's gonna be here before you know it, kids. Okay, so there's that one. And then there's this one. And I believe, yep, there we go. So this one has a the, the same paint job. And then we have this one. And you can see they're clearly different. And this one, uh, it's not, it doesn't have a gold stamp or anything, but it's the Rock and Santa Sled Gold variant. And that's what the top of this one looks like. Got the missile toe above him, it looks like. And uh, the wheels are white. The wheels are red on this one, and uh, again, that's what this one looks like, and that's Santa and the, the sled, and the pictures are the same, except that one's white, and that one's gold, so boom, 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 and then I have another one that's a different gold, okay, so let's just show them all by comparison again, boom, boom, boom. New for 2020, 2020. This one does not have the Merry Christmas. 
This is the gold parallel, as is that one, but this one has gold, like, uh, sides to it. And here's the top. Listed under Xperia Motors. I was like, hello. So, pretty cool. And then we have this one. And this is another one that's like that one. Two to ten. And then we have this one. And this one is like that one. So the numbers just start adding up. Uh, I cornered the market on them. I really liked them. I thought they were kind of cool. Uh, I did, I believe, open one. So, and then the other cars in that set were this one, Fast Gassin, North Pole, Pole Motor Oil, Winter 20, and we had this one, the Paradigm Shift, and this is a very fast car. I did open one because I wanted to see how they roll, and this one rolls pretty snazzy, I gotta say. And then we also have another gold one, like this one. And there's another gold one. So I have uh, triplicates, okay? So, and, and the whole collection is like this. I have, I, when I saw colors and variations, I have a photographic memory, that's what I did. So here's the Torque Twister. It's another very fast car on the track. And on the linoleum floor as it is sometimes and then we have another one of this one and this one's kind of banged up see how the cards bent but it nevertheless is still there and intact uh, i'm just kind of curious how many of the things i have and it's a little nuts it gets unwieldy here is the custom 15 ford mustang spider-man maximum venom with venomized groot Very cool, very cool. And then Happy New Year 2018. There's the carbonator, and that does open beer cans, or I'm sorry, beer bottles, just so you know. Shaped like a bottle, 2018, pretty cool. And then for this year, for 2021, New Year, we have the carbonator again. And here you go, shaped like a bottle, uh, a black bottle with a lot of gold decked out and I thought that one was pretty cool and uh, we cornered the market on that one too big guy it looks like so there are a number of them <clears throat> I'm gonna just go to the bottom real quick and see but yeah they are every single one of them so I tried to keep the display intact when I as I bought them I think I spent like $75 that day. I bought 75 of these cars that were in the display. And, um, yeah. So I, it has all the, all the, um, Christmas cars. And I, I was able to get those and then some, as you're going to see here in just a second now. Uh, this is the shorty of the carbonator and this one's in uh, this little subset track stars and then we have uh, the carbonator once again this time it's a blue bottle and then we have another blue bottle carbonator and then we have the formula gen 2 car very nice very nice and here is the flash drive. And uh, very nice, very nice, very nice sets of cars in these this time. Here's the Indy 500 oval. And this one is in like the teal color. Not an easy one to find. I'm going to tell you that right now in that color. Because all, all you saw were these, these flashy like purple colors and stuff. And that car, I, I didn't even see very many of that car. Here's Alberto. And here is the fished and chipped. Hello, love. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, there's two of them. That's a shot of the bullocks, huh? 
<laughs> Why, yes, it is. It is a shot of the box. I got two of them. There's a whole pile of everything in here, something for everyone. You'd have to be a fool to just overlook this. Now, we're talking about, I go back into the 90s, so it's about a 30 year old collection, I guess. I think I said 40 accidentally. Uh, I misspoke. I definitely go back into the 90s, though. Um, and they're all set into these display cases like this. The, most of them are matte blue finish. Uh, and they could all be stood. If you wanted to stand them up and display them, uh, oh man, it would look awesome. Here's the Bentley Continental. And uh, again, I cornered the market on that one. Here's the Rockster. This is the other Christmas car. Uh, one of these displays has the Christmas cars from, I believe, 2019 in it that I got from my uncle. Uh, whenever he saw what I was putting together, he got behind it and he said, Hey, I am going to hook you up, big man. And he gave me all of his treasure hunts. And there were about, oh man, there must have been at least 50 of them. I know that for sure. And then I had gotten a case delivered to the store that was literally a 72 count like those up there the regular hot wheels boxes and it was every single car was a treasure hunt go figure i have no idea how that happened and i was like i gotta buy that so i bought the entire box all 72 cars and then i also found uh treasure hunts on my own by seeking them out um and then i also uh bought more more of these display cases especially when i found this porsche 935 uh love it beautiful 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 uh version of this car uh again it's the attention to detail man here is the regular corvette grand sport roadster okay and i'm gonna push this off to the side so we can admire it next to the super treasure hunt whenever i find one because that is what it'll be. Here is the 2020 Jaguar F-Type. Another Butte. Here's the McLaren Senna. So, like I said, hand-picked every single car. Here's the Audi RS5 Coupe. Really like this one, too. Sporty. Beauty. Sexy. Here's the twin Mil G uh, Genie or Gen E, I guess. And uh, there's another flat, like a wine-colored version of that that I really like, too. Here's the Range Rover Velar. Okay. I'm trying to go through these relatively quick, but so you can see. Here's a 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Chromed out inside. Kind of cool. Here it is. I saw a million of these, the Stanahatos. Uh, I did not go crazy on them because it was part of this cartoon series that I didn't know much about. And here is the Toyota 2000 GT for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Uh, and this one was the, it looks like karate. So there's the karate car. Actually, I'm putting that aside. It was for a friend's son. Uh, here is the uh, Aston Martin Vulcan. And I do have another one of those. It's just I'm pulling it out now while I'm remembering it. And then we have another Aston Martin Vulcan. Anything that was really gnarly that I didn't see a lot of, and when I would see like a, a bunch of them together, uh, like these long ones here, uh, I just snapped them up because I didn't know when I was going to see them again. I didn't know if I was going to see them again. So if I had the money, I bought them. And before you know it, I got nine cases of these things. And you can see how I'm putting them in here. Like, they only hold 144 cars the way they pack them, with like five to a thing or something like that. Uh, or eight, whatever it is. I, I'm packing them like as tight as they go. And, and it's not hurting them either because I'm standing them upright. Um, here is the Honda Civic Type R. I really like this one too. Very, very, very gnarly. Here is the uh, 91. Mazda MX-5 Miata. I remember when these were racing around. I graduated in 92. Here is the Nissan Silvia S13. And check that out. Can you see all that gold in there and bronze and just... I mean, really. Look at the highlights on the paint job. The graphics. Baby. 
Here's a Ford Focus RS. Let me tell you something. I opened, I don't know how many thousand. This is the only, one of the only ones of this I pulled. So a uh, Ford Focus RS ended up being one of the rare ones. Uh, at least from my uh, buying. Here's a Tesla Model 3. This is the burgundy or the red. Uh, I have a ton of the blue one. I, this is another one. Did not see a lot of. So when I did, I grabbed it. And here is the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR32. Boy, that's a mouthful. So the Nissan Skyline. And uh, man, I dig that too. Look at that. That is a sweet car. And I got a whole new respect for Hot Wheels after this year. I really got into them because, like I said, I was trying to collect them with COVID going on. Here's that Miata again in red. And uh, I just wanted to uh, try and put together something that maybe not a whole lot of people had. And that was 2020 Hot Wheels. How many people were working on their Hot Wheels while COVID's going on, you know? Apparently a lot of us because uh, the pegs were empty a lot. So I wasn't the only one that thought ahead. And here we go again, the 2020 Koenigsegg Jesko. I, don't know, I think that's how you say it. I hope so. And then finally, in this one, is another 2020 Koenigsegg Jesko. I like the graphics. Very cool. So, yeah, you can count that if you want to go back, and that'll tell you approximately how many are in each one of these. Uh, I'm not doing a hard count. I'm just showing you that these suckers are full. I guess I could do one, but if you have a lifetime comic book collection, this lifetime Hot Wheels collection could be yours. Uh, I will trade you straight up. Most likely, I'd tell you to come to me if possible because there's so much and I can't load it all. But if you have a truck and you bring me your comic collection in it, we can load all this and more because I have other, other stuff I will throw in. Just for coming and picking it up, that's what kind of guy I am. So here's the diaper dragger. Here's the pink one. I know it's a girl. I only saw it's a boy. I, I, I saw hardly any of these uh, uh, it's a girls. So I grabbed the girl ones whenever I saw them. I left the boys on the, on the pegs because there were just so many of them. Uh, here's the nerve hammer. Kind of a cool car. I really like that. I don't know when the original came out, but uh, it looks really good in 2020. And uh, it looks like the rest of those are going to be the nerve hammer. So that was another one I liked, so I snapped them up. And it would vary from week to week. Sometimes you'd see a bunch of this, sometimes you'd see a bunch of that. And whatever I liked is what I got. So here is the uh, Night Dragon, okay, out of the Street Beast series. I didn't really care for this series. It's more for the kiddies, I guess. Here's the Dragon Tail. It's like a dragonfly. And this is the dragon tail again. Same thing. Same color. Here is the croc rod. This is another one I saw. There were tons of these on the pegs. I believe there were a few color variations. Yes, here's the green. And there's the blue. And I really liked the Velociraptor, and this is the one that I liked, the tan one. Uh, the, I also really like the green one, there's a green variation that looks a little more, there it is, realistic, kind of. And I grabbed both of those color variations off the peg. Uh, and then here is another. And that one's on a green base, as you can see. So uh, there's three versions of him right there. Um, here's the Eric Steinrod. That is another one I saw. Quite a few of those on the pegs, but not in gray. A lot of burgundies. And I just left them because uh, here's one right here. I, I wanted to get, you know, one of each. That's what I was trying to do. I wanted to create a master collection for 2020. And then what I ended up doing was going back even further. Because as they came in the store, you know, when you're a collector, it's a full-time, full-blown addiction. And uh, I was grabbing everything that I could that I did not already have that I remembered in my mind's eye. And I got some really cool stuff. I mean, old stuff, too. Uh, now, again, these are 2020s just because this is the holiday box, and this is the first one I filled. Uh, now, but I did add some uh, ones later on, like this Zombot with the Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Uh, there's a red one, and I don't think we'll find the blue one in here right now. But uh, here's the uh, Tricera truck. 
Uh, this is a treasure hunt, but this particular one is uh, not a treasure hunt. But that was in the uh, previous release, the treasure hunt. Here's the custom auto. I really like that muscle car. Here is the uh, Linster prototype. If you look at the wheels uh, from back far, you'll see that they are offset. So what happens is when you race this car forward, it always spins out to the right or the left, depending on how you do it. And I thought that was kind of cool. And it's called the Linster prototype. There's a couple different models of it, a couple different colors. I just collected the first run, which was in this green. Um, I, believe, I don't think I got any of the other ones. I didn't. I got all the green ones. Um, the, later on, they came out with, I believe, two other uh, colors. But the green was the first, as far as I know. And that was the one they uh, knew for 2020. And that was the one that I grabbed. And I grabbed a bunch of them. <clears throat> but I just want you to see the makeup of these boxes. It's not all a bunch of junk. I, I really did take my time to put this collection together, Lethal Diesel. And anything that was like a, a new release for 2020, I, I would get multiples of it. You know, just so it's a first year. Here's the Audacious. And it's part of the Hot Wheels Art Cars, which were pretty, pretty nifty. Here we go again, Mazda RX-3. And that looks like it has the wind, uh, the wind thing, you can flip it up. There's another Rock and Soccer robot. Uh, I believe I have some of the blue ones in here somewhere. Here's a pedal metal, and that lifts off, that plastic piece does. Uh, it's one of the X-Racers. A lot of the X-Racers glow in the dark uh, and, and, and do other things. Uh, besides just be a, a car, this is called the Beat All. I really like this one. That's a beast of a thing. It looks like it would beat everything, and it's pretty heavy, too. It runs, it runs fast on the track, though. And here's the orange version of it. And another orange version. I didn't see many of the orange and the, the blue bottom. Mostly what you saw was the red with the yellow and the green. Uh, and I you saw a ton of them. These, not so much. So, since there were only a few of them on the pegs over the time I was collecting them, I grabbed them. Because when am I going to see them again, you know? You never know, you might not. And that's how it is with these Hot Wheels. We buy them up and we put them in our collections and then they don't see the light of day until someone moves them like I'm doing now. Uh, and like I said, all of this is available if you want to trade your lifetime comic collection for it. But you got to have some meat on the bone. There, there better be something good in there because I'm giving you all good. This is a hand put together set. Here's the Fast Master. Uh, I scrutinized over this. Here's the Forward uh, Force. And there are two color variations of this. And this one is all, I believe, green. And uh, that is. So I'm just going to put that back now. But the whole thing is all those. Uh, this one, the Piranha Terror. This was not an easy one to find either. Uh, out of about 3,000 cars, maybe, I found this one. So, that's a rare one for me, anyway. Here's this one. It's the Formula Solar. There are a few color variations on this one. I did not get them all. Here's the one, Runway Rescue. Did not see a lot of this one. As a matter of fact, out of probably 5,000 cars, that's the only one I found. Uh, and you can argue with my numbers all you want. Here's new for 2018. That's just me. Uh, it's my particular, you know, I opened up 72 car boxes and I opened up these large international ones. So it is what it is. Uh, I got a bunch of this uh, manga tuner. There's a ton of different color variations of it. Here's the red one. And here's this gray one again. And here's uh, another red one. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have a brand new variation that just came out the other day of it, and it's behind me in this bag. So, uh, they're still doing this manga tuner and doing different color versions of it. Uh, it would be interesting to see which one ends up being the one that's like, wow, man, you need this one, you know, because there's always that one when they have a big run of them like that that you just have to have. So... I got a bunch of these, the Warp Speeders, because they're good for the track. It says new for 2020. Uh, I filled this whole thing up with them. So those are my Warp Speeders. I already know that. And then also here's the Warp Speeder again. And then here's the blue version of it. 
again. And in 2021, they did a glow-in-the-dark version, if I'm not mistaken, uh, of it. And I got a, quite a few of those, too. Here's the Blade Raider. And here is another uh, version of the Warp Speeder. So I, I kind of cornered the market on those and the Grupo times 24, I guess, or by 24. That's kind of cool. Uh, there's a bunch of those. In that one. And then uh, this was the first uh, Lindster prototype I saw that wasn't green and it still had the offset wheels. You can't really tell from there, but when you have it out of the pack and they move, you'll see it. Um, here's another circle tracker. Uh, there's quite a few versions of this one too for the 75th anniversary, I'm guessing. Um, and I did get a lot of this, this one, uh, because it was the harder to find. And I left a lot of the red ones on the pegs because I saw more of those. And then here is uh, another, at the bottom, it looks like I got another I got that one. Yeah, I went after the gold wheels. Yep. So, uh, you got all the circle tracker colors that look like. And I'm going to do another video, I think, while I'm at it up here. Because it is kind of fun to go down to Amnesia Lane and see all this stuff that I bought. And uh, to see how I did now, at uh, this time later. Because it's been a minute now, almost a year. Uh, this was a tough one. 64 Chevy Impala. Uh, I can't tell you how many thousands of cars I went through to get this one. Just one. Uh, I do believe that is the only one. And then here is the Roger Dodger. This was another not easy color to find in that color combination. Um, here's the one that I saw the most of in the Roger Dodger. And there's another blue one. And another green one. And it was funny to get another green one. And then I went to like Walmart or somewhere else and I found this one. And I was like, whoa, that's pretty sweet. And then uh, I grabbed a few of those. Uh, I think you'll find in here, there's a few more. So there's one, and there is a another. And uh, the entire collection is like this. So again, I will trade you my lifetime Hot Wheels collection. Nine boxes like this to go through. And, and it's hand-built, man. This is not just the garbage they sent out. This is what I pulled off the pigs all over the place. So, here's the uh, 83 Chevy Silverado. Uh, and it's another one of the art cars. Uh, I did not see this one. Okay, this was the only one. Red, it's a red line, too. Pretty cool. Um, I did not see that one. I think that there may be another one in here. Here's a 2020 Ram. And look, look at that. I spoke too soon. There was another. Because uh, I, I seem to remember only getting two of them. Now here is a 69 Chevy pickup. That's another one. Yellow wheels. Uh, I did not see a lot of that one. Nor this one. The 52 Chevy with the rust. I really thought that was really cool. Um, and... and that was a very tough one. And, and by tough, I mean, I think that's the only one I got. Out of, I don't know how many thousand that I ultimately went through. I'll, I'll just say conservatively 8,000. Because I went through these for the last year in multiple stores. Multiple stores. And you're talking about I went through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars. And you do. You start to see the same ones over and over. And you know that those are the ones that are just the mass-produced pieces of garbage sometimes. Not really a piece of garbage, because these are really quality items, man. There's the track ripper. This was not an easy one to find. Um, but uh, you just you start to see the same ones over and over. This drift stuff. Uh, this one was not easy to find. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, this one's another one out of about 5,000. Both of those, actually. Very difficult. Here's the Kia Stinger GT. This is one that you saw all the time. This and the red one. It was like filler. There's certain cars that are like filler. And they just put a ton of them in there. So I, I grabbed them because they were new for 2020. That's like a rookie card, you know. So I, I grabbed them up. And that way I can say, hey, man, I got them. Now here's another Tesla Model 3. I will have to check all mine because I know this is another super treasure hunt. And uh, I may have one. 
because I, I have a ton of them because one it was a tesla and you know those that's a new car so i figured i better get them now while they're young in the packs here's the 19 corvette convertible that's another one very 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 tough very tough not not an easy one to find um and here we go again tesla model s uh, is that it? Is that a treasure, a super treasure hunt? I don't think so. I think they have like a mark on them of the treasure hunts and it designates it as a super treasure hunt. I don't know. I haven't opened enough of the treasure hunts to know. And here's a 98 Subaru Impreza 22B STI version. And if you notice the lisp, it's because I had all my teeth pulled. And I'm just trying to practice until I get my dentures. Uh, again, I, I just got diagnosed with uh, renal cell carcinoma, kidney cancer. And what I'm doing is I'm collecting, I'm trading my lifetime collection of Hot Wheels for your lifetime collection of comic books. But you got to have something good in there, man. I'm talking like Silver Age and Bronze at least, you know, and some keys. There better be some keys, because you're getting a bunch of keys from me. I'm giving you a ton that are really grade-worthy. Some of these are mid on card, you know. Some of them are the usual dings. There's another Impala. Uh, I got that one around Christmas, I remember. Around the time that I actually had this box, because it sounded like it was cool. I remember putting it in there. And then here's the police one. And then that's it for this box. So I'm going to stop right there.